Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Friday, August 30th, 2024. Ondo Finance launches its USDY stablecoin on Arbitrum 1. The Ethereum Foundation Ecosystem Support Program announces Q2 grant allocations. And Altlayer deploys an Arbitrum Orbit chain on the Espresso network. All this and more starts right now. Ondo Finance, a protocol focused on on-chain securities, launched its USDY yield-bearing stablecoin on Arbitrum 1. USDY is backed by US Treasuries and offers a yield of around 5.3%. The integration with Arbitrum enables users to access USDY across the Arbitrum ecosystem, including applications like Camelot and Dolomite. In June of this year, the Arbitrum Stable Treasury Endowment Program Committee allocated 6 million ARB tokens to Ondo's USDY stablecoin as part of a strategic investment to diversify the Arbitrum DAO treasury into real-world asset products. USDY was developed in partnership with Flux Finance. The Ethereum Foundation Ecosystem Support Program released an allocation update of projects that received funding in Q2 of 2024. A total of $8.4 million was allocated to 94 different projects. The grant categories include community education, cryptography, developer tooling, consensus layer, execution layer, and protocol support. Grant recipients include the Summer of Protocols, Account Abstraction Core Teams, and L2B. The Ethereum Foundation Ecosystem Support Program runs several initiatives focused on providing both financial and non-financial support to teams. Users building projects that enhance the Ethereum ecosystem can visit esp.ethereum.foundation to view funding options. And lastly, Altlayer, a rollup as a service infrastructure provider, launched Kyoto 2.0, an Arbitrum Orbit chain deployed on Espresso's Cappuccino testnet. Kyoto 2.0 enables users and developers to test fast, economically secured pre confirmations provided by the Espresso network. The release also supports the Espresso sequencing marketplace. Users can access the network by adding Kyoto 2.0 to their wallets, bridging testnet funds, and deploying contracts. The testnet comes in preparation for Espresso's upcoming mainnet launch. Outlayer will support Espresso sequencing for native and restaked rollups on Arbitrum Orbit deployed using its platform. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to the newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week.